Hello everyone, and welcome to Train Talk. In the sixth episode of Train Talk, I discussed different types of freight trains. I did not, however, discuss all the different types of freight cars, and there are many. So today, I'm going to talk about all the common types of freight cars that you can see out on the main line today, and what purposes they serve. Let's get started. Box cars are some of the most basic and versatile freight cars you will see on the main lines today. They are quite simply a box on wheels with sliding doors on each side for loading and unloading. While they were in the past used for hauling finished products to market, they are now primarily used for hauling raw materials to factories. Everything from coffee beans to paper can be found inside a box car. Sometimes box cars have also been modified with refrigeration units on one end. They are called refrigerator cars and are used for transporting fresh produce, all while staying nice and cool. Another very important type of freight car is a hopper car. Hopper cars exclusively carry uniformly shaped raw materials such as coal, grains, or even plastic pellets. These materials are loaded from the top of the car and are discharged through hatches on the underside of the car. Hopper cars come in two types, covered and open top. The covered hoppers also have hatches in the roof of the car so that they can be loaded. Materials that can be damaged in transit by being exposed to the open air, such as grains, are carried in covered hoppers while materials that do not need the extra protection, such as coal, are carried in open top hoppers. The next type of freight car is a gondola car. These cars are similar to an open top hopper car except that they have a flat bottom with no hatches and the sides of a gondola are typically much shorter. However, you should note that the only real distinction between a gondola car and an open top hopper is that a gondola has a flat bottom with no openings. For example, some gondola cars used to haul wood chips have high sides that are actually taller than most open top hoppers. Gondola cars must be loaded and unloaded from the top. They almost exclusively carry raw materials such as rocks and scrap iron, but occasionally they carry larger finished products. Gondolas are often used for carrying large, heavy steel coils, usually with a rounded protective covering over the top. We've moved slowly from freight cars with sides and a roof to open top cars with shorter sides, so the next car we're going to talk about has no sides at all. These cars are called flat cars. Flat cars are used for carrying larger items that need to be tied down. They can carry everything from construction equipment to tractors and even airplanes in some cases. However, one of the most common types of flat cars you will see is called a center beam. Center beam flat cars have a raised central beam running the length of the car. The beam is used for tying down materials. These cars are used pretty much exclusively for hauling wood products like boards of plywood. In addition to the basic types of flat cars, modified flat cars are also used for carrying truck trailers across the country as part of intermodal trains. Tank cars are used for transporting various liquids. They are loaded through a rounded opening located on the top of the car and unloaded through piping located on the underside of the car. These cars transport a variety of different liquids including crude oil, refined petroleum, paints, and more. Now we come to one of two types of cars that exclusively carry finished products. The first is a car known as an auto rack. These cars are used for carrying brand new automobiles. The cars are very tall and have either two or three levels for storing vehicles. Modern auto rack cars also have a roof and sides for protecting the vehicles as they are being moved. Some of these cars are also articulated. Finally, we come to the last car for this episode, the well car. Well cars are similar to flat cars, but they are used specifically for hauling shipping containers and are modified just for this purpose. 
These cars, when loaded with shipping containers, are used for intermodal freight service, inter meaning between and modal as in different modes of transportation. These are the most common freight cars you will see today because the shipping containers they haul are so versatile. They can easily be moved from one form of transportation to another and they carry most of the finished products you can buy in the store. Furniture, televisions, games, home appliances, and more. While they are the most common type of freight car on the railroad today, and their use is not likely to decline any time in the near future, they cannot completely replace the more traditional types of freight cars, as these are all essential to the National Freight Rail Network. Well, that does it for this episode of Train Talk. Thanks for joining me. There are some unusual types of freight cars as well, but these are often just modified versions of the basic freight car designs I mentioned in this episode. If you enjoyed the video, let me know by liking it and leaving a comment below. Also, if you haven't seen it yet, be sure to check out the episode of Train Talk on different types of freight trains. For those of you who haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you are notified every time I release a new video. That's it for now. Until next time, I'm Mike Armstrong. I'll see you down the line. Thanks for watching.